back with another video. Today, we are going to be talking about Mr. Isaiah Wong, the cold-blooded, silent assassin of the Miami Hurricanes. And I'm going to be looking at what he did in this four-minute stretch of Miami's Elite Eight win over Texas, where he just took over the game. I know he only had 14 points. He had 27 against Indiana, 20 in the win over Houston. But when it really mattered, when his team really needed him, they went to him and he delivered. So Miami trailed by as much as 13 in the second half. They struggled to get stopped. They were sloppy with the ball, made some bad passes, a little bit uncharacteristic for them. Miami could not string together a run. They couldn't get enough stops. But right around the 9.30 mark, Miami finally got it back to single digits for the first time in over seven minutes. But Texas answers immediately with this great pass from Marcus Carr, from the logo, to freshman Dylan Mitchell, who throws down the alley-oop. At this point in the game, Isaiah Wong's only got six points. You're the ACC player of the year. It's the Elite Eight. Your team needs you right now. Let's get into this first play. Jordan Miller sets a ghost screen for Isaiah Wong. He clears out to the three-point line. The little half spin at the free throw line. He knows exactly where he's getting. This little step back elevates and just drills a tough mid-range jumper. The little amount of space he needs to knock this down. That is a tough shot. Down 10. After that momentum-sucking alley-oop, Isaiah Wong says, I'm going to go get a bucket. And he delivers. Okay, just over a minute later, Miami has the ball back again. They're down six. Once again, the ball is in Isaiah Wong's hands. He comes off this screen from Norchad O'Meara, hits the brakes behind the back. He says, let me get another screen. Norchad slips this one. Christian Bishop doesn't really have a choice but to kind of switch on to him because of how hard Isaiah Wong's attacking the basket. Marcus Carr's drifting over. He ends up dropping in. But Isaiah backs his ball up at her on the block. That is so impressive to turn around, fade like that on the baseline in the short corner with the other team's five-man switched out on you. It's a two-possession game just like that. Texas gets the ball again. Another stop for Miami. Nigel Pack leaks out, gets a layup. Get another stop on the defensive end. Now you have the ball down two on this 10-2 run in less than three minutes. So this time, Wong uses the screen from Norchad. That's a tough screen to get through. Norchad's a big, strong dude. Marcus Carr fights around it. Christian Bishop drops off into coverage. And Isaiah Wong breaks into this pro move, kind of a Chris Paul holding that defender on his back, right? Because that forces Christian Bishop to have to stay high. Because if he stays attached to Norchad, that opens up the lane for Isaiah Wong. It's a two-on-one. It's a lot. Isaiah keeps Marcus Carr on his back. Christian Bishop stays high. Norchad keeps rolling to the basket. And a nifty move by Isaiah. It's so subtle. But Isaiah gets into this step back, creates space, and just beautiful touch on that lob pass. Over the top to Norchad O'Meara. Finishes the lob and one all of a sudden. After this Norchad O'Meara free throw, Miami has the lead. Just like that. Starts on the defensive end with stops. But you put the ball in your playmaker's hands, and you let him go. You let him go, and he delivered three times in a row. Guess what? He has another one in him. So Texas answers on the other end. Tyrese Hunter drills a three from the wing. Texas retakes the lead. They're up two. Isaiah, you're going to answer. Look what he does here. Norchad clears out. There's a lot of space for Isaiah Wong to go to work. And I've seen this move before of this power dribble with the left hand into a step back. Maybe Marcus Carr is watching the same film as me. Maybe I'm overestimating how much he does this move, and it's just a good crossover. But to me, it looks like Marcus Carr thinks Isaiah Wong's about to step back and take a three there. That left-to-right crossover creates enough space for Isaiah to pull up, get to his spot in the lane, elevate. What a shot. Ties the game back up. Very impressive. Love watching Isaiah Wong. He has mastered being able to get himself a look in the mid-range with his handles, with his athleticism, with his elevation. And he's got great touch. I didn't see the ball at the rim. Swishes. Swishes, right? There's still four minutes left. I'm leaving this video with four and a half minutes on the clock in a tie game, right? Plenty of things happened for Miami to get this win outside of Isaiah Wong. And Jordan Miller is my favorite player in college basketball. If you've been following me on Twitter or anything, you know that. I've been saying it for a while. The dude does everything well. Jordan Miller had 27 in this game. Didn't miss a shot. Didn't miss a free throw. Made big defensive plays. During the whole 40 minutes, Jordan Miller was the best player on the floor. But to me, the difference in the outcome of this game is what Isaiah Wong did in that stretch. That was just a masterclass of, in isolation, go get yourself a buck. I appreciate the way that I... It's not just that he scored in three buckets and had that assist in this time frame. It's the way that he did it. Sometimes it just comes down to who can go out there and be a dude, right? And Isaiah Wong was not a dude this entire game. But when it counted and they needed someone to step up, down 10 points, he was the guy they relied on. He was the guy where Coach Larinaga and his teammates said, go. Go be you. Go create your art. And that's exactly what he did. Thanks for watching.